Well, this just is not bad at all. I don't know uh, about where you guys live, but we don't have prices like that on our campsites. So $11 for electric and six for other sites. That is reasonable. In Iowa, look, they even have camping coupons and you can save $3 per day saving during peak camping season. Hey, okay, stop and pay here. Got our Great one, investment. <laughs> our one night. So you can only pay one night at a time. <laughs> at a time um, if you're in a reserve spot because tomorrow somebody might have already reserved it but you can't tell until tomorrow so we'll know by coming down and checking this list out these were the sites that were reserved already for today so we couldn't go in those but tomorrow we don't have to be out of our site till 3 and we can come down here and check it out and see if anyone's reserved it and if not then we can go ahead and just stay there one more night and it's not quite closing season yet. And look what. Oh, we nice running water. water. And they've got a huge garbage can here. I didn't see any other garbage cans around the park, but there is no excuse to uh, not put your garbage where it belongs because there it is for you. <laughs> Scotty's already brought a little bag down to get in, put in there. They've got great fire pits. We've got the bottom rack, top rack, and then a little holder for you to put your uh, cooking utensils. That's nice. Well, this is even a great site right here. Site number 45, because they've got handicap parking here. And you can roll right up onto the walkway and be able to get down there to the best, uh, restrooms where the showers are. Yeah, you do not want to get caught parking here without your plate, for sure. Not good. No, I'm not drinking from that, but I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, <laughs> that's, that doesn't work. What the heck? You're supposed to have your mouth on it. <laughs> that does not work. Well, they've got drinking water and a pump out over there, all for free. And I was just checking out the fish cleaning area. You want to go catch some fish? What is that? It's a fish cleaner. It's a medieval torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck no, she would she would not like that at all. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of being in Fargo. They've got a grinder here. I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Uh, it must be turned off. Yeah, oh. probably for the... No, I'll hit it so it goes on. Oh! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, you can hear the rain coming down. There's a little bit of ice pellets in it. And in about an hour here, it's going to start snowing. Well, it's really coming down. I think I'll go in and make some bean soup. This reminds me of all those little birds that we picked up on our carpet in uh, Texas. You guys remember those if you were with us then? And they are hard to pick out of our shoes. They're, and then they just stick to your hand. Oh, I don't like little birds. And throw those in the garbage can. Last time we just threw them back outside, not really thinking that we were just going to pick them back up again. So they're going in the garbage. And it is really coming down out there now. Sticking. Haja's over there filming. It's 
Scotty is up here enjoying the... <laughs> <laughs> Tide score. Tide score. Oh, he's going for it. All yep, right. Touchdown. What are you doing over here? Ah, uh, just I cleaned the filter and now I'm just uh, oiling it back up with the oil that goes into the filter because it's a KN filter. So getting our filter all nice and clean. Yeah, and then I gotta walk down and pay the uh, mortgage, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> the mortgage. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> our $11 mortgage right mm -hmm. there per day. <laughs> yeah, with power and everything. I'm loving it. Yeah. Power, water, shower, everything is awesome. And garbage. And I am over here making bean soup. So I soaked my beans this morning. I don't always soak them. Sometimes I um, We'll just hard cook them and I had I remembered that I was going to cook them this morning so I went ahead and soaked them there that way they don't have to cook as long and the reason I'm gonna go ahead and film this today is that I've had quite a few people ask me for my recipe for bean soup the problem is is that I don't have a recipe I don't follow recipes very well and so I always, my bean soup is always different. If you've seen it, I think I've actually filmed bean soup like three times, but it's always, it's always different. I don't put the same ingredients in it every single time. It always, oh come on little bugger, there's something in here, a little brown piece on the onion. There we go. So it's always different. I don't follow a recipe. Um, and I don't measure for those that are new to watching me cook. I didn't realize people were that interested in watching me cook, but I guess some people are, so I might try to add that in a little bit more than, um, than I do. So I just rough cut the onions. You don't have to be perfect. They'll cook down. And everybody knows Scotty loves onions so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the pot and I'm, I've already had the beans soaking like I said so I'm just throwing them all over here on the on the stove top where the beans are just rough cut the celery and have to be perfect I kind of like it when vegetables are not all one size and one cut one one way kind of like it when it's just all kind of chopped up but if you like it all chopped up the same way, just go ahead and do that. And just put in enough vegetables to where you feel comfortable with how many you got going on in there. And I've got some little baby carrots. They're a little dried out. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. They still have good flavor to them. It's just the outer part's kind of dried out. And we always buy these little ones because they're just uh, a good snack to just grab in the fridge and grab a few out and munch on them. I just rough cut those two. I don't really care how big they are. just want to cut them down a little bit. What you need? You need to get over by I your game? Get by. I'm <laughs> Scotty's no. watching the game or something up there. What are you uh, watching? It's the, it's the late night game. Oh, uh, late but, night game. Yeah. My mom just texted Scotty and I don't know. She was telling him what the score of the Seahawks were. That they were playing in London and they won. 
Yeah, so he, he didn't get to watch the Seahawks today, but that's, I guess that's not okay, but he got to watch some football. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to put a can of diced tomatoes. This one is basil, garlic, and oregano blend. You can use whatever kind of tomatoes you like. I have a few things here that I'm going to put in probably the last 20 minutes of the bean soup cooking. Um, zucchini does not take that long. I don't like real mushy zucchini and so I always do this um, at the last minute. Pro like I said, 20 minutes is probably good enough for that unless you like your stuff really cooked. This has gotten a little spent up here, but that's okay. We'll just cut that off and get rid of it. Other than that, that's a good good zucchini. And I've got spinach, which does not take long at all to cook. And I'm going to make a shrimp um, taco with shredded uh, coleslaw. So I always buy it already cut up and everything, and this is going to be too much for that dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and put probably half of that in the bean soup. And those all cook down really quick, so I don't need to put those in until the last minute. And if you've noticed, I have my vegetables that I'm putting in at the last minute. They're sitting in my sink. If you have a clean sink, utilize the space that you have because when you live in a tiny place like we do, you need to utilize every single bit of space that you can. So, And I want to be able to cook here. This is like my whole cooking area right here, guys. So I have to improvise with the space that I have, which is not hard to do. You get very used to it. I lived on a boat, so I'm, I'm used to that already. But always a good, uh, good place to store stuff while you're cooking. Gosh, you can complain about that while you're cooking when you got a view like that going on. Cold out there, but it sure is beautiful. And it's toasty warm in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we stopped and got a um, heater at Walmart the other night, not knowing that we were coming here to camp. And we're sure glad that we did because it's been nice to be plugged into shore power. Is that what they call it when you're on land? Land? I don't know. I call it shore power because that's what we always called it when we lived on the boat. I that's guess what it is, we're, yeah. we're plugged in. We're just we're plugged into electricity, and that's always nice. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fry up my hamburger. I probably don't need the whole pound of that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. We're going to offer Aja a bowl of soup, so we'll go ahead and just put all of it in there. Okay, a little tip here about cooking things that are frozen. I could get the package undone. I'm not going to use all of these. I only want, I just want half of them. Go ahead and just cut them up. Whatever size you want. Throw that in with the hamburger because it will all cook, cook about the same time. And then add a little bit of water in there. And you'll use this water anyways in your soup when you, when this gets all done, if it doesn't all uh, boil out of there. So you don't lose any flavors, but then the little sausages will cook a little bit faster than if they were cooked just frozen.
And then I just put oyster sire sauce in. I use oyster. Okay, somebody told me I said that wrong before. I just remembered that. Oyster sire sauce? I've always said Worcester sire sauce, but you know me, you guys. I'm always saying something silly. I've got my own vocabulary. And I don't know, you guys. Like I said, I don't measure. So I, I'm thinking maybe two tablespoons of that. And then this, garlic. I'm putting a... I don't know, maybe two tablespoons. I just, everything I do is by taste. And I just have a good idea of how much I want to put in there and how much I don't want to put in there. A little bit of cracked pepper. You just want to start out slow with your ingredients, you know, your flavorings, and then just taste it and add to it, and just remember that they're going to get a little bit uh, stronger as they cook and blend together, and then you should be fine. Oh, what am I looking for? So Mrs. Dash. Just a little bit of that, because I've noticed that if you put too much Mrs. Dash in there, um, you can get somewhat of a bittery taste, so you got to be careful with that. At least I do anyways. And I'm going to put some, even though I put a big chunk of, uh, or a big mound of garlic in there, I'm still going to put some dried garlic. And I'm just about out of celery salt, which I am completely out of celery salt. And I use celery salt a lot for things. And then, my go-to, you guys, my Greek seasoning. Greek seasoning makes everything better. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon, tablespoon, of, or tablespoon, or two tablespoons. Yeah, we'll get this stirred over here. And there's not a whole lot of fat in this hamburger because I buy really lean... Um, hamburger and if I can get it I'll do chopped sirloin. I prefer chopped sirloin over hamburger and I like to have it about 4% fat. For some things like meatloaf you need a little bit more unless you're going to add your own oils into it. And if you don't like meat you can just omit this. You don't even have to put this in there. You can just make your bean soup. And if you've watched me before, you guys know I love these savory broth chicken flavor packets from Trader Joe's. This is my last packet of these. We are nowhere near a Trader Joe's at this point. And so, um, once I'm out of them, unless I can find a Trader Joe's, then I am out of luck for these. So I'm going to do two of those, and they're just packets like this. Uh, they're concentrated. I might have to add one more of these, um, depending on how much more water I put in here. And I don't drain my water. Uh, I let my beans soak and I do not drain the water off of that. I rinse them and drain that water off, but once I've soaked my beans, I don't, I use that, uh, I use that liquid. One other thing I'm going to put in there, I know some people do not like these packets. There's probably a lot of sodium in them and I don't know other stuff, but it, it's ham flavor. It's what comes in the beans. It's uh, 15 bean soup. And I like to use this little packet. I never used this packet before, but uh, one time when I was making bean soup, I didn't have any 
I ran out of some kind of uh, seasoning and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and just try to use it once. Oh, that thing got kind of hard. Anyways, and I realized I kind of like that flavor. So this is how much is in my pot. It's a little over, well actually I think it's about half full. Scotty, can you get me a water? Absolutely. Oh, maybe I won't need it. Hang on, I might. Oh, I think we're good. There is a small little water. Oh yeah, I can use that. Or I put my meat in there. I want to make sure I've got a decent flavor here. I almost forgot my ketchup. I love ketchup and bean soup. And I was almost out of ketchup, so I just added some water to it. So it looks like I put a lot of ketchup in there, but I actually did not. All right, so now that I've sampled that, now I can go ahead and put my meat mixture in there. I don't, I didn't want to sample it before I, when I, after I put that in because there might be some that's not cooked all the way. So that meat liquid has a lot of flavor in it too. So there it is. It's pretty full right now, but it will it will uh, boil a little bit, and then there won't be so much juice in there. And I'll have room to put spinach and the zucchini and the cabbage in there. So, all right, about an hour and a half, two hours. I almost forgot one thing: lime. I've never used a lime in bean soup before, but even though I don't follow recipes. I do go in and look at recipes and get ideas of how I want to do things. And quite a few of the bean 15 bean soup recipes had lime juice in them or lemon juice. So I'm going to try it. I'm only going to do half because I don't know if I'm going to like it and I don't want to um, overpower it with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Ooh, that's looking good. Probably about 20 more minutes and then I'll put the other vegetables in and then it will be all ready to eat. Go ahead and put the lid back on it. Let that steam down and should be done in about 20 minutes. Oh, it's all done and ready. Ready to serve. Oh, it smells so awesome. Mm, yummy. And then I just grated up some uh, pepper jack cheese. You just sprinkle that on top, or you can put Parmesan. Scotty likes Parmesan on all of his stews. All right, guys. Well, we're going to sit down. We're going to have our dinner, watch a little boob tube, because Scotty's got some channels. Yep. And we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Good night, all. We'll see you guys later. Thank you again, Terry, for dinner. You're welcome. <laughs>